Hey guys, welcome back. So getting into some more Red vs. Blue today, so I hope you're comfortable. Go grab a beer or a coffee or whatever you want to partake in while you watch me watch a show. This is Season 11, Episodes 16 and 17. It's only two episodes in this one. They must not be very long. Okay, um, I usually string three together, as you know, so when I see only two, it's a bit of a surprise. So um, I don't know why I did that, but hey, that's fine. I prepped these videos five six months ago so um yeah it's a surprise i don't know why so we'll find out there could be another one in the middle i could have made a mistake but um previously on red versus blue um caboose relinquished his command back to washington because um he, he was just not having any fun and, and enjoying it it wasn't as much fun as he thought it was going to be so uh wash is now in control with the um with uh, freckles thank god and just as the last episode ended uh, a character, and I just caught his name in my notes, was, was Felix, an orange one, I think. That's what my notes said. I didn't write the notes. They're somebody else's notes. They could be wrong. But Felix kind of turned up um, trying to rescue the guys because evil bad guy was going to shoot one of them, but somebody interrupted, and now he said, follow me. The bad guy said, follow me, because um, he, he found out, well, he thinks that the team are legit troopers. So, um... Come with me, he says. We found out there's like a whole base on the planet as well, so that there's something going on. I don't know who these people are, but they're there. So the Red versus Blue troopers aren't as alone as they thought. So I have been doing these pretty much every day. Um, it's been two days since I did my last reaction, so some stuff fell out of my head. I do take a day off every now and then, occasionally. Okay, so without further ado, making sure... I always do this last-minute check when making sure everything's recording, and it just kind of bugs me. So... Yes, camera, audio, on, on. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Professional. No, I'm not. I'm not professional. Professionals get paid. There. Red versus blue. You don't get paid. I can't feel my toes. That's normal, is it? Hey, whoa. You need to start talking. Mm, aggressive, right. paranoid, and Felix? a melodramatic. You must be Agent Washington. But we didn't get his name yet, right? And that means the rest of you are the Reds and the Blues. Yes. How did he know that? They're famous. Wearing red and blue armor. But how do you know? <laughs> Will somebody please fix his helmet? How do you know who we are? Seriously? He watches on, the man. show. Everybody knows about you guys. You're heroes. Heroes? You're the team that brought down Project Freelancer. You're some of the galaxy's greatest soldiers. Nice. Well, <laughs> great shot. Because it's absolutely true. It's partially true, but mainly false. Stop giving him information. Shut up. What's your name? Felix. Okay, Felix. Right, so we just learned it, so my notes here? jumped ahead. Do you ahead. want the long answer or the short one? Do you want another bullet in your leg? Hey, that bullet's there because of you. He's got a point. <sighs> just explain what's going on. Uh, yeah. Like, who are those guys that were trying to kill us? And why haven't we been rescued yet? Wait. Where do you think you are? What do you mean? I mean, do you understand where you've crashed? Well, where? We're taking bets. Highest wagers currently on Bermuda Triangle. After that, we huh. got Gilligan's Island and Purgatory. <laughs> so stupid. No, Lost. just think about it. It makes perfect sense. The reason no one's come to help you is the same reason no one's come to help them. Them? The people on this planet. What planet? Chorus. Never heard of it. Well, I wouldn't expect you to. On the very edge of colonized space, and after the war between the humans and the aliens, it was more or less forgotten by Earth and the UNSC. We crashed okay. in the middle of nowhere on a planet in the middle of nowhere. Fucking beautiful, everybody. But yep. how did we end up so far from home? It should have been a short flight. Sir, please, you can't be back here. These engines are delicate. Can it, Point Dexter? No wonder this flight's taking so long. Who ever heard of delicate engines? These oh, engines are supposed to be big, loud, and terrible for the environment. Let's kick this baby into slip space. A whole lot of them have contributed to the ship crashing in some uh, way. <laughs> one mystery at a time there, Simmons. <laughs> now, being a small planet completely free of they all did something. jurisdiction, the nice little people of Chorus decided to run things on their own. The Chorus? The was, they didn't do a very good job. Ugh. History is the worst. Can you just get to the point? The point is, you've crash-landed in the middle of a civil war. And I'm on the side that's trying to keep you alive. Now, oh. which side is that? The New Republic. Essentially, a bunch of people got fed up with the way things were going on Chorus, so they put together a rebel army and decided to fight for their freedom. It's all cool. very patriotic. They're so rebels. What? Does that make those guys the evil empire or something? Yep. Yeah, you could say that. 
Stormtroopers. Oh fuck. But why the attack oh, fuck. tried to kidnap us? It's like I said, you're the greatest soldiers in the galaxy. That makes you a pretty hot commodity. And I'd be lying if I said my shitty attempt at a rescue mission didn't have a few strings attached. What kind of strings are we talking here? Who was the other guy? The rebels need your help. Once they heard that you were on chorus, they sent me out with a small team to find you and bring you back. They're hoping you might be the key to winning this war. Oh, well, because they're the heroes. No. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah, that, that's not going to work for me. Look, Felix, I hate to break it to you, but we're in no condition to fight a war. All we want is a ride off this shitty planet. No offense. Eh, it ain't my shitty planet. Aren't you one of the rebels? No, I'm a freelancer. No, <laughs> I mean I'm a mercenary. You know, a gun for hire? Oh, thank God. <laughs> they paid you to come find us. They paid you to do lots of stuff. But, yeah, you're my current paycheck. So you want us to go fight someone else's war just so you can make some extra cash? Uh, mm hmm it's for a good cause? Right. We'll just take that ride out of here, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's yeah, what thank I'm you. talking about. Me I'm gonna go home. Woohoo! Here's the not going that extra mile. You know, I wasn't alone when I came out here to find you. There were three of us. Just think about that. Whatever. It's not like Bad we guys. asked them to save us. Yeah, we definitely didn't build a giant radio tower to send a distress signal or anything. Shut up. Whoops. Headquarters, this is Felix. I've made contact with the Reds and Blues. Holy shit, you found them? That's great! Uh, what's your status? Not good. We ran into some feds. I need an evac team. Damn it. Uh, Felix, I can't just fly somebody out there. Yeah, I know, okay? But you send as many men as you can as fast as you can. Locus has our position. Oh no. Locus. Locus. No, I want to do this quiet and I want to do it right. But just to be safe, bring a shitload of guns. Right. <laughs> Sending reinforcements, sir. Roger. Locus. He looks out. Dangerous killer bad guy. So, what now? Now we work on making this canyon the most defendable hole in the ground the universe has ever seen. Why? Because we're about to get hit hard. I need a detailed list of the supplies you've got on hand. Let's set up choke points and mark potential snipers' nests. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. We're not telling you anything. We still don't even know if we can believe you. Well, believe this. If we don't prepare for a fight, we might as well just be waiting for a massacre. Well, that's not cool. Tucker, see if you can fix Caboose's helmet. Yes, who said that? Sarge, you and the Reds build up an arsenal. If we can that's use what it as a let's get it prepped. I can think of a few things that might come in handy. Felix, you and I aren't done talking. Well, all right then. Let's see if you guys are as good as they say. Prepare to be well. sorely disappointed. <laughs> Greetings, fellow web surfer. Be sure to subscribe they to have, our channel before you go. They have a It'll reputation. like we're friends. Not that I need friends. As being heroes. Uh, please don't go. What happened to the guy that tried to shoot them and said, um, come with me? Have I missed something? Did I just misremember? Have I forgotten? Have I missed an episode? I don't think I have. The questions just keep on coming. All right, boys. We don't have much time. So let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Private Simmons. Great to be back. Wrap it up. Good to be back. Nobody cares. All right, just shut up and listen. We had a full armory on board the ship consisting of firearms as well as explosives. I moved as many as I could down here and also took the liberty of setting up a minefield near Red Base. But you didn't even bury them. From what I no. can tell, the designer rest above the ground. Uh, with blinking red warning lights? Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Excellent work, Simmons. Now go organize those firearms. Yes, sir. Griff, Doc, how are those teleportation tests going? Well, we've learned the cubes can be set to different frequencies. For example, if I throw a cube set to frequency A, it will absorb an object. Absorb it? If I then throw a second cube on frequency A, that object will reappear. Right. Meanwhile, if I've got a cube set to B, I can throw it like so. Yeah, hey, wait! And then throw a second cube set to B, without ever messing with the stuff sucked up by the cube set to A. Hmm. Well, they do is tell Where did he go? Things. The Lopez is the Lopez. I need you to 
here to get to work on repairing CC's fuel tanks. Can't tell you apart. El que trato de matar a todo el mundo. I can't wait to see her. Triumphantly leading the charge on the front lines. Glistening yeah. in the sunlight with the blood of her fallen enemies. Esa será su sangre. Ella cree que todo es su enemigo idiota. Wait a minute. This is a terrible idea. Oh, gracias a Dios. Solo espera. I can't trust an idiotic robot with a job as important as this. Ahí está. Excuse me. Change your plans. You two go prep the workstation, and then wait for me to arrive and do the job myself. Oh, you God. I'm a favorite welding torch. No. Es una locos. Están todos locos. Yeah. At least there's a chance he Don't might not be able to fix it. Where is Doc? All right, how's that? Nope, still can't see. Open your eyes. Oh, my God, the graphics <laughs> are incredible. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Tucker. Ah. Uh. You know, you, you and I have had our differences in the past. I have called you stupid. You have called me stupid. I have tried to kill you. Uh-huh. But, you know, at the end of the day, I like to think that you and I are actually... Pretty good friends. What? What? I can barely oh, hear no. you. Oh, no. He can't talk. Damn it, I think fixing your visor somehow broke your radio. Doctor, can you hear me? <laughs> Just stand still. <laughs> so how bad is this? The man coming for us is named Locus. He's a merc, like Locus. me. Only, you know, terrifying. Locus? Yeah. Guy's so far off the deep end, he prefers to go by the name of his armor instead of the name he was born with. <whistles> That's unsettling. Oh, are you first name Agent, last name Washington? That's so weird. That's just... old habits. Yeah, well, here's to hoping those old habits of yours kick in when he shows up. You know, I thought there'd be more of you. Weren't you with a, another freelancer and an AI? They disappeared not long after we crashed. Are Jeez. they going to come back? Any idea where they went? No. Hmm. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I haven't heard anything about them over the radio. So, um, that's probably good. How was he able to cloak himself? Hmm? Locus. He turned invisible. How? The Federal Army's got all sorts of fancy stuff. I got my light shield off a dead soldier. So wow. Pretty cool. cool. It's just that I've never seen that kind of equipment outside of Project Freelancer. Welcome to the future, Wash. Technology's incredible, and everyone uses it to kill each other. Does that mean your <laughs> guys have the same equipment? I wish. The New Republic's barely getting by with what they can. You wouldn't happen to have any high-tech armor aboard that wreck, would you? Plenty of armor, just nothing out of the ordinary. Well, at least you can accessorize. Huh? Try a little color combo mixing up. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Mix the colors. Actually, I think I might indulge in some of those old habits you were talking about. Follow me. Man, you are just cryptic. Like, all the time. <laughs> Do you realize that? Cryptic. La fijación del robot estúpido por lo que nuestra estúpida creador estúpidamente He's had enough. Oh shit. Oh, oh god. Well, it just goes Still wants to kill them all. With time, effort, and a little bit of elbow grease, we really can achieve wonders. We spent hours turning this place into a war zone, and you made me hate it in one sentence. It's what he does. Donut's got a point, though. I think we're ready. Ooh, back in wow. Looks good, Wash. Nah, that's something that brings back some memories. It's like when we first met. And then we met again. And you shot Donut. I'm impressed, guys. <laughs> this place looks good. And between the landmines, freckles, and the tank, I don't think anyone's going to stand a chance against us. Run oh. for lives, Sarge! <laughs> oh shit, they're here! Everyone, get ready! No, wait, this, this isn't right. Lucas wouldn't attack like this. Well, who else on this planet wants a stand? Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. Freckles. Oh, it's a face off. Facebook shields up. Surrender now, and I promise only to kill the mercenary. Well, fuck. Oh, yeah? You and what army? The Federal oh. Army, of course. Shit. Well, I guess I walked right into that one. Looks like backup isn't getting here in time. Uh, Wash, what's the plan? Engaging target. Hello oh. everyone. Now that we have our own YouTube channel, I've taken the Why would I end it there for myself? Streamline viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. I must have um I need to scoot ahead and see why I've, I've done two apps this time. All right, let me just close that window for a second. So my next reaction for Red vs. Blue are episodes 18 and 19. How long does that go for? 17 minutes. And then the last one. Oh, that is... Wait, so there's only... um. I see, so I've come to the end of the series, so I've done, well, this season, so I've just broken them, broken them down into two, two apps each for the final, so, um, only two episodes to go in, in, in season 11, okay, um, like I said, I prepared, I prepared these months in advance, so when I was only two, I'm like, wait, why did I do that, I just do that occasionally, just because I've got to look at the runtime as well, but how long three episodes go for, so they can usually max out about, like, 23, 25 minutes, my camera only records for 30 minutes, so I've got to try and keep it under. So maybe those last three episodes would have been too long. So I just didn't want one one little mini like standalone video going for like five or ten minutes, five minutes or so. So um, there's a reasoning behind everything. So Lopez took over the the body, and and still wants to kill everyone anyway because he's just been broken by the stupidity of Sarge and all the other troopers. Uh, I don't know why he didn't change his language to English in, in the robot so he could just say, hey, you motherfuckers, I hate you so much, and then start shooting them. But Locust turned up with the troopers, and we're about to get a pretty amazing firefight in the next couple of episodes, I think. But we finally learned where they were. Uh, Caucus? Where did they say they were? I just watched it. Caucus? Caucus is a character from Berserk. Um... But they're on this planet and there's a civil war, so we've got the rebels and the empire, so obviously you're going to have your Star Wars illusions. Like I've called out many times in this season how the troopers look like stormtroopers, the bad guys in the white. So, um, yeah, a little bit of frame of reference, which is totally cool because, you know, Star Wars rules everything, and Red vs. Blue is just showing that love. So, very, very cool. Anyway, it's a uh, Hunter Hunter day today, so I'm going to call it for my Red vs. Blue and dive into my Hunter Hunter. And my next reaction series I'm going to do is Summary Zero. I'm kind of catching up to that season, so um, season two, so I've got three to do there. They're very long, but I'm having fun doing it. And then the final episode of Red vs. Blue season 11, and then diving into season 12. Just going through it like a gun. Excellent. Anyway, guys, that's my um my plan for the next couple of days so i'll catch you next week for the next episodes of red vs blue catch you then thanks for watching